Jack's Films, or Jack Films, or however the fuck it goes, is a giant fucking p Hi. So because my room is going through a wee bit of a remodel, I decided we would come outside and stare at the beautiful trees and watch as I very gently and kindly touch grass. Yeah, yeah, take that. Fucking you like that, don't you? Don't you fucking filthy so The first thing I want to mention, because I know a lot of people have already mentally checked out and go, Oh my god! Oh my god, that sniper wolf is such a psychotic cunt. How can you take her side? First off, I am absolutely not on her side in any way, shape, or form. In fact, not only that, in a just world, her lifespan would have been abruptly shortened. So I need you to understand, my opinion in regards to Sniper Wolf is absolutely not going to deviate away from what everybody else is saying. Even all the way back to her stealing content, I even agree with those takes as well. So, I want you to understand that whenever I say the following, and the following is as follows. Jack's Films, is an absolute and utter fucking put <laughs> If somebody's standing outside your home and they're recording your home and on a live stream issuing veiled threats towards you, if your response to that is literally a fucking soy face, fucking record Matt, this right now. She's oh fucking God. doxing you. Then I have absolutely no sympathy for your existence. This man is married and has even gone on to say that they're considering having kids. We talk about it all the time, and I think we, we do want to have kids, mm. but like, we're not actively- Not actively like, trying. We're, yeah, we're, we're, we're getting there. We're like, we're kind of warming up to the idea. We're talking about yeah. like, not right now, but within the next- How old are you guys? Years. And of course, that clip was just a few years ago. So you know what, Jack? Don't have children, please. For the love of fuck, do not have kids. If you can't protect yourself, your friends, or even your wife from imminent danger, don't have children. Just don't. If you choose to react to that by soy-facing in the comfort of your bedroom when a threat is looming literally right outside your door, you quite honestly should in no way, shape, or form ever even conceive the thought of having children actually ever. The reason I'm so hard on him about this is primarily due to the fact that this isn't new. This isn't some novel concept where Sniper Wolf is the very first person to go at somebody by going to their home. Just about every single YouTuber that had millions of followers that went after people that also had millions of followers has had individuals come to their home and threaten them. This isn't fucking new. To sit there with your million subs and go, man, it's never gonna happen to me in the 17 years I've been on YouTube, it's never happened. That is some serious, like, white suburban bitch-made bullshit right there. You should have been prepared for this. Seriously. You should have had guns. You should have had training. You should have prepped for this. And not only that, you should have confronted her. Absolutely. fucking lutely Hell, you could have let your wife actually take care of it as she, you know, said that she was going to. Hold on. I'm yeah. going to go and outside. Aaron, no, 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 Aaron, no, 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 Aaron, no, Aaron, no, 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 Aaron, no, no, Aaron, no, no, Aaron, no, no, It's pretty pathetic when your wife has more fucking testicular fortitude than you do. You need to put the soy down, Jack. And the thing I think that bothers me too on top of this isn't even his reaction to it initially in the moment, so much as his reaction after the fact. He took it to YouTube saying things along the lines of she should be deplatformed for her actions, blah, 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 blah. Last night, Sniper Wolf, a massive YouTuber, showed up outside of our home, recorded a video of our home, and then posted it to her 5.6 million Instagram followers, goading me with the line, let's talk like adults. In my 17 years on YouTube, I've never once had someone come to my home and vaguely threaten me. Sniper Wolf needs to be deplatformed. Your first course should not have been trying to get her deplatformed. And by the way, I don't think she should be deplatformed. I don't think that basically anybody that has been deplatformed for that should have been deplatformed for that. However, my opinion on who should and shouldn't be deplatformed doesn't necessarily matter all that much because YouTube, at the end of the day, has deplatformed people for that very reason alone. So in other words, even if I completely disagree with the act, YouTube should have done it anyway for at least the sake of consistency. 
The reason the concept of deplatforming in this particular case even bothers me at all is because many of the people calling for her deplatforming that aren't Jack are the same people that would talk against deplatforming in every other context. How can you sit there and say, I am against deplatforming and cancel culture, and then be in favor of deplatforming and cancel culture, listing this as somehow an exception, as if this never happened before, as if this is somehow new? It's not new, and that's not why you want her deplatformed. Many of these people already hated Sniper Wolf because of her reaction videos, and so they wanted her deplatformed for that reason, and then saw this and found a whole new reason to deplatform her. None of these fucking people are honest about it. None of these fucking people, in any way, shape, or form, actually gave a fuck about the fact that Jack had some psycho at his door. No. The reason they want her deplatformed is explicitly because of all the copyright bullshit. On top of that, I think it's pretty fucking cowardly of Jack to sit there and be all like, uh, you know, um, she came to my fucking home and was threatening violence. So you know what I'm going to do instead? I'm not going to retaliate. I'm not going to do what you're supposed to do when somebody comes to your home essentially threatening you. No, 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 no. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it to the internet and get her fucking deplatformed as the very, very, very first course of action. That is stupid. It doesn't change what happened at all. It doesn't really do anything but make you feel better. And number two, more importantly than that, how is taking away her fucking source of income in any way, shape, or form going to stop her from doing this in the future. And in fact, if anything, it might make her crazier. It might actually make her be more desperate and more willing to do exactly the same thing but worse. You did absolutely nothing, and I have absolutely no pity for you. If it wasn't her, it would have been somebody else. It would have been one of her crazy fans. This is a risk that you take whenever you make all of your content or a bulk of your content, a lot of your popular content at the very least, about making fun of somebody that's bigger than you on YouTube. It's not necessarily, as I said, a risk of that YouTuber in question coming into your home, but it is absolutely a risk of one of their fans coming after you. You should have been prepared for that. You should have saw it coming. But instead, you sat around in your fancy ass home thinking that you were somehow entitled to security. You're not entitled to that. I'm not entitled to that. Nobody is entitled to that. The reality is, is that your home and the security of it is your responsibility upon buying it. And if you can't take responsibility of that, at the very least arming yourself with fucking something in the event that something like this occurs, well, that's all on you, bud.